Hey there creepy peeps and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about Jacob's Ladder. So Jacob's Ladder was requested of me by Kevin, one of the Kevins now that I have on my Patreon. So thank you for your request, Kevin, really thank you. We'll see why in a second. Let's get into a summary really quick. Directed by Adrian Lin, Line, probably saying it wrong either way. Jacob's Ladder follows a Vietnam War veteran who is mourning his dead child while simultaneously uncovering a potential conspiracy about drug testing that happened to him and, and his unit in Vietnam. Um, so I'm gonna give a spoiler warning for this one and normally I wouldn't give a warning for such an old movie but it does have a super surprising ending that you should definitely not have spoiled for you before you go watch this movie for the first time. So if you do want to see it stop this video because I'm gonna talk about the ending and actually like don't even look up summaries for the movie i did see some plot summaries like on letterboxd and imdb that are actually kind of spoilery so if you want to watch it just go watch it don't look up spoilers please anyways though into what i thought about the movie wow what a movie seriously it was a roller coaster ride to say the least um i know that's super cliche to say but it really was like i was instantly drawn in to jacob's story and like desperately trying to figure out what the hell was going on film barely gives you time to breathe. It's like you're going from like nightmare scenario to nightmare scenario and it's just like kind of like Jacob like you're just like bouncing back and forth and you don't have time to breathe and you're trying to figure out what's going on. Like you're literally put in Jacob's shoes pretty much. I saw some reviews after I watched the movie that um, were complaining that Jacob isn't really a sympathetic character and while I respect that everybody has differing opinions I kind of have to disagree. I felt like I was one with Jacob's pain like I definitely empathized with him like which is a tremendous thing for a film to do given that I'm neither a parent nor even a parent that's lost a child and I'm not a veteran either so really there's <laughs> other than the fact that we're both human beings there's no reason that I should really relate to his situation but I was able to empathize with him so easily even though I no longer go to church I was raised Catholic and that background definitely helps you when you're watching this movie a little bit even though I did like kind of know what was going on you don't know how it's going to end like you just uh, i'll talk about the ending don't worry but a lot of hints are given if you have any sort of like church background you should be getting some extra hints there there's like the obvious hint of like the demons and angels all around jacob plus all of the biblical names like almost all of the characters have a biblical name so that's another huge hint plus there's the title of the movie jacob's ladder which is taken directly from a story in the bible about jacob and i'm gonna put it super simply um he basically has a dream where he sees a ladder leading to heaven and angels are using it to travel between heaven and earth um there's way more to the story and more stuff happens in that story but that's just like that's really like the basic of what you need to know for this movie <laughs> and there are a couple interpretations of the latter's significance depending on whether you're reading from like a christian a jewish or islamic interpretation i think the movie takes the interpretation in the most literal version which is the latter being used as a vehicle for your soul's ascent into heaven and that's kind of like the biggest <laughs> the biggest hint of the movie so if you understand what the title means you kind of understand the movie it's just more of like you don't understand how we're gonna get there and with that i've given away the whole ending so i gotta say like i was fully into the story like eyeballs glued to the screen i still did not see that ending coming not in the way that it plays out especially since i knew the significance of the title and literally he has characters telling him throughout the movie that he is dead so i figured he was I figured he was probably dead throughout the movie but like my jaw hit the floor when he ascends the staircase with his dead son and then it just <laughs> cuts to Vietnam and he's dead and that's when he died and I was just like, <laughs> like I just sat there in stunned silence as the film ended and the credits were rolling and I immediately wanted to watch it again as soon as it was over and I also saw some reviews after I saw the movie they didn't like such a definitive ending and they wished it was more open but god damn i love how it ended like seriously i know it was like the perfect shock like i knew he was dead i figured he had to have been dead the entire time i just didn't realize 
it was like that, you know, like, ah, ah. So overall, <laughs> so, so glad I finally saw this movie and <laughs> ecstatic that I did not know the ending before I saw the movie. And I like, as soon as it was over, I already knew it's one of those movies that I'm gonna wish that I could erase my brain and rewatch it for the first time <laughs> over and over again. Thank you, Kevin, for the amazing suggestion. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I loved it. On IMDb, it has a 7.5 out of 10. On Rotten Tomatoes, it has a 71% critic score out of 62 reviews and an 84% audience score out of 52,956 reviews. Um, on Letterboxd, it has a 3.7 and it's mostly threes, fours, and a few fives um, from y'all and maybe some 2.5s. So it's really, it's really kind of varied, so take it as you will. Hopefully, if you've made it to the end of the video, it's because you have already seen it, and I'm gonna be so mad at you if you watch the entire thing and you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> if you have, though, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. Um, maybe please give a spoiler warning if you're gonna talk about the ending, because I fully believe that you should watch this for the first time not knowing how it's gonna end. Anyways, uh, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. Becoming Creepy Peep today. I post videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can ring that notification bell down there to be notified every time I post a video, even though it doesn't always work. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay strange. Bye! This video is brought to you by all these lovely creepy patron peeps that you see listed on the left hand side of the screen. If you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link that is in the description of this video. Um, no pressure, but it's there if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye!